So I want to highlight some poop. That's right, poop. Behind the chicken tractors, I have these rectangles, and that's where the chicken tractor just moved from. So they're right here. They moved from here. They were here two days ago, three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days. You see, you see my point there? Is that every single day, these chickens and the chicken tractors, those guys right in there, they, uh, they get a new patch of grass, new forage, new bugs, and they're getting off of yesterday's poop. So they don't have as much parasite buildup, they're healthier, and uh, yeah, man. So these rectangles next spring, or even later this year really, it's early enough, um, are gonna grow back even more green and lush as that chicken manure settles in. It's high in nitrogen, which is a key plant nutrient, and uh, they're just gonna love that. Feed the microbes, feed the pasture, feed the chickens, feed us. See you guys later. So I'm out here doing morning chores and you see this? This is my garden hose. I get the uh, little bit more pricey garden hose. It's like $35 for 100 feet uh, from Home Depot, big box store. And that garden hose runs all the way to that shed right there with the solar thermal units on it. So that water comes out at 17 gallons per minute. I run the hose across the field and to the broilers. I had to move the hose today, which is why I'm making this video. Um, <clears throat> having the hose makes it easy to bring water to the birds. It was a cheap way to kind of set up their irrigation, uh, if you will, my broiler irrigation. And then I just have a uh, little janky homemade full flow waterer on the end just to fill up the buckets a little quicker. But that's how I get water out to the birds in the morning. Super simple, super easy. Occasionally you gotta move it. That's it, have a nice day. So here's what I got going on today. I got my Polaris EV in the shop. EV because it's an electrical vehicle. Uh, at least that's what I think it stands for. <clears throat> it runs on batteries instead of gas. It doesn't have a gas or diesel motor. It's got this bank of batteries in it. And they're lead acid batteries. Lead acid batteries you fill up with distilled water and through some fun chemical reactions, uh, turns into electricity. But while it's doing that, while it's charging or while it's under a lot of strain, it off gases hydrogen gas which normally not a problem in here, you just can't charge it in a closed space. But the batteries are getting old and <clears throat> it built up too much hydrogen, blew one of the caps off. So now I'm going through servicing it, checking all the fluid levels, checking all the connections, and we're gonna reset the charger to a different charging capacity uh, so it doesn't charge as quickly, but it charges more gently and slowly. Uh, and we're looking at buying new batteries as well, which is one of those you know, farm expenses that uh, comes up from time to time. That's it in the shop today. Trying to fix some stuff. See you guys later. Enjoy your day. So you saw we were working in the gardens the other day doing irrigation. We've been on and off working in the gardens just to get things caught up. We fell behind in the spring with the opening of the tasting room and now we're playing rescue. So it's like we're in project mode and cruising through. We want to weed, uh, compost, and mulch. So we're trying to set it up where we don't have to do as much work throughout the rest of the season. These herbs are supposed to look like this, sage, oregano, and a lemon, uh, lemon balm. Lemon balm is like taking over, it's crazy. Then we have some new rosemary, thyme, and basil. And then these, this is what these beds used to look like not too long ago, full of weeds, full of weeds. So we weeded them this morning. Now I'm adding some compost in, and then we're gonna mulch, and then hopefully these plants spring up and we'll have uh, a better crop of herbs in the fall. Uh, so that's the goal, that's today's task. Uh, or at least one of the many, is working in the garden, being out in the sun, enjoying the day. See you guys soon. Finishing up some morning tasks, wanted to show you guys this. This is my tractor, and this little like pad I built, and then there's a drop off, and then there's weeds from the garden, and then brewer's grain. I drop, I use this big green bin on the tractor to drop the brewer's grain and whatever else into my compost area, and there, there, there and there I have compost piles where it's essentially one part brewer's grain, three to four parts wood chips because the brewer's grain is wet and compact and full of nitrogen and the wood chips is fluffier and more coarse and full of carbon. Those two react with each other. As I turn it, it involves oxygen in the process and they break down and it's compost that I can spread right on the farm because there's no animal waste in it. It's great. I'm, I'm, I'm getting better. It's not perfect yet. I'm spending the rest of my day moving. 
I'm moving in the middle of freaking July uh, to a property next door for a whole bunch of reasons, which I'll fill you in in the future, but that is the rest of my day, finishing up these morning tasks and then getting on to moving boxes now that my back is healed. Eh, hope you enjoy your day. See you later, bye.